Hey everybody, for today's video, we're playing Darius in top lane, and we're going to be going the double bleed Darius uh, build, where we're going to have our bleed from, uh, you know, Darius's passive, on top of Young Tau Wild Arrows, which is completely bleed him out. So, playing as Camille, trying to decide what, uh, you know, she's got starting out first, so she started W, so I'm going to start Q. That way she can't just uh, sit here and uh, zone us out. Uh, with her W's. Let's see, I do have Hail Blades for the setup. So I do have, uh, you know, ways to set up the bleed stacks really quickly. And of course, because I'm Hail Blades, I get the instant 5 stack, baby. With overwhelming so auto attack into W to increase the number of auto attacks you get with the increased Hail Blades. Uh, attack speed is incredibly strong or trying to apply as much bleed as possible and since we're going crit for the young tell i figured the extra attack speed with all this attack damage we're about to have it's gonna be really strong so got the wave shoved into camille let's go ahead and ward oh hey they're ganking mid all right let's see if we can't do anything about this gonna let it bleed out oh i thought if the uh ivern e explodes i thought he'd give it to me maybe he died to the red buff i'm not sure i'm gonna say worth you know kill for ivern is uh super good for the whole team ivern basically buffs up everybody all right so we're kind of we got the wave like slow pushing back towards us the uh Emil has a level advantage on me just from uh, from me roaming. I missed a couple minions. It's not too bad, though. Also, that is a missed uh, W from her. She does have Ignite. Um, do need to be a little bit careful. You know what? I'm actually going to thin out this wave as much as possible. I'm going to reset. Set so five stacks on those minions. And I'm going to get out of here. So Camille doesn't have the greatest show speed, and this is a cannon wave, so she's gonna have to just basically walk this in. I'm gonna get boots. Let's get a cloth armor. Strength above all. And uh, you know I'll grab double cloth. Screw it. Like we do want to eventually get into you know Yun Tao and you know crit chance items. Uh, but first, we need to make sure that we get through Wayne phase, and we need to get into, like, Ninja Tabby. I don't think I'll go with Ninja Tabby full on Warren's Mail. I just need to spend some gold there. I could have sat on maybe, like, a refill pot or something. Might have been, uh, decent as well. Concerning Camille can, uh, W poke. But, we'll leave it like this. So, as far as the runes go, if you guys uh, see in the bottom left here, uh, I've got my stats screen here showing on the runes. As you see, I took Alacrity just for extra attack speed. I've got Last Stand. It's a great dueling rune in general. Uh, I've got Hail Blades, as I explained before, just for the uh, instant 5 stack possibility because you get 4 auto attacks at super high speed with uh, our W being an auto reset. And then our Q giving us that 5th stack into the ultimate. And then um, we have Eyeball Collection and Cheap Shot just for some extra damage. And then we have Treasure Hunter just to, so we can try to snowball as much as possible. Because this is a uh, snowballing, like we have to snowball with this build to make it work. If we fall behind, it ends up being really bad. We just end up being super squishy and uh, yeah, not a good time. I mean, we are level 6. It is a good amount of damage that we have dealt to Camille. So we got the uh, stacks on these minions as well. Alright, shove in, and I have, uh, I have tabbies in base. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab those. Don't mind if I do. Let's see. I don't think I'm being denied this plate, although it's going to be close. If I do get denied the plate. Oh well. Grab tabbies. And we'll grab your full pot now. 
This way you have a little bit extra regen. Destination is clear. Very important to like, once you're in base, like base is lava, you want to be getting back to lane as quickly as possible. So even me being delayed by like a second and a half here because I misclicked on refill pot, you know, that is time that I could have been getting maybe an extra minion of experience or something. Uh, okay, Ivern is doing the grubs. I'm going to kind of motion over towards the Ivern in case the Nocturne comes in. Don't see mid lane either. It's like, okay, they're doing Dragon. That's fine. All right, we got our level 6. Camille's just been kind of slow pushing. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, it's actually pretty good for us, right? Okay, later. <laughs> I mean, he did dodge our pull. He did dodge our pull, but yeah, he like went into the wall, <laughs> and he went back into me. So you know, it's gonna kind of kill her there. All right, got this, and we'll go back. So we want to get the bleed. So for you know crit items, I. I buy everyone here. I mean, I am kind. <laughs> I kited that Kabil so well. Oh my gosh, that Kabil was not expecting that. I, I saw my Ivern ping and I was ready for it. Oh, okay. Oh, well. This guy is gonna be looking for me. I have my orders. Oh man. Yeah, that guy looks, uh, he looks a bit angry that he couldn't find me. Alright, let's go Yuntel. So, Yuntel does build a new quiver. I'm just gonna grab this. You know, build up. Alright. So, we want to build Yuntel, and because we have so much bleed damage, I kind of want to build Collector. One, it's another crit item. Uh, that way we can apply... You know the bleed more often because this only applies on critical attacks so we do want to get um you know more crit it has a high amount of attack damage and you know even one little bleed proc gets a below five percent and then it's ends to kill it's obviously really really fun really strong Look how big my axe gets on the crit you see that it's like my axe grows like three times in size So, got a little bit of a CS advantage on Camille right now. We've got pretty good pressure going on River. And this is exactly how you want this build to go. This is a snowballing build. We have Hell Blades. It doesn't scale as well as Conquer, except when you build, like, absolutely full damage. If you're building a more standard Darius build, and you have a lot more durability with items like Steric's Gauge, Conquer's going to be better. But Hell Blades with a straight up like high attack damage build from the get-go uh you're gonna have you know doing a lot of work nice actually pulled her out uh wait i just don't what <laughs> wait a second i crit him too i double crit that nocturne right there literally did his entire health pool in two auto attacks and then I flash and just crit my W my on the Camille as well. <laughs> I only have 20% crit chance. Oh man, you already know I'm a Trinity Mermaid off that. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, we're just absolutely destroying Camille. Now they do have a fed Sona Seraphine. That's gonna be super annoying. We do have an Ivern to kind of give us that durability to kind of fight longer too, so that's good. Also, Ivern. Ivern gives us a dash. Yeah, a Darius with a dash? Yeah, that's broken. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of missing old Stridebreaker right now. Old Stridebreaker gave us a little of a dash when playing Darius. That was, uh, that was a pretty fun couple of patches before they just removed that from the game. Alright, so I get into the cloak, which you build into a collector. I had a little extra gold, or that I couldn't, you know, spend anything on, so I was building the cloak. No 
mistakes. An ally has been slain. Alright, the Camille's probably looking at Rome at this point. She's uh not having a good time in top lane. God, 428 damage because I crit the W. Yeah, this this W damage is unreal. Okay, and we did calculate correctly that the Camille is looking for Rome. And while she's roaming, we're just gonna go in and get this turret. Oh, let me shove this in. And I'm critting everything exactly when I need to. I'm like critting that minion just so I can shove it in time. Alright, we're getting fed. Uh, I don't have sums, so roaming mid can be a little bit hard here. But they're not even uh, covering top, so I might as well take the free um, the free turret damage while I can. Um... We'll see. We'll move it. Well, we're watching Grubs. Just in case we're on it. Camille is just full on roaming. You know what? I may have greeted for that turret, but that is plus 700 gold for me. Uh, <clears throat> that is gold for them, but I'm so worth. Uh, that is Nocturne Ultimate down as well. Okay, we got four Grubs. They are rotating over. Um... Nocturne has no ultimate. Oh yeah, that is their full squad. Get out of there! We got five. How much it worth? Right. So now we're building in the collector. That way our bleeds can just absolutely execute our opponents. And we're gonna go bottom. That way we can match the Camille. We don't want to be uh, up against range because we did not take Ghost on the setup. We took Ignite just so we can have. I mean, we got double bleed plus ignite. I mean, just burning them, right? That's obviously pretty fun. But yeah, we don't have ghosts to chase down, you know, range characters. Yeah, this Camille is, uh, she's not looking to fight me, that's for sure. You have to watch out for Nocturne. Never retreat. So I'm actually gonna ward out here for Nocturne. Because if we can see Nocturne going down to his Krugs, then we can, like, kind of infer that he might be going bot side next. And he probably does Krugs before getting bot. I mean, if he skips going over that camp, that's important, right? I'm just gonna let him bleed out. I mean, I just did 227. I just built Yuntel. That did 227 damage there. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna say worth on that. Uh, it looks like that Nocturne ulti is somewhere else. Shut down. Okay, not bad. Uh, we're getting a sideline pressure. Oh, we need to walk up to the uh, the dragon. They just ganked mid, so maybe they'll contest drag. Okay, nice. The Cloud Dragons could be helpful for us getting on. Maybe we can, uh... Make no okay, maybe we don't do anything. Let's see, Nocturne might go for these, uh, Krugs. I don't know if this is warded. Maybe we can catch... Maybe we can catch Camille. Nocturne did just ulti somewhere else. We're gonna watch his movement here. I use his backing. I'm gonna wait until he fully backs and then I'm gonna go on the Camille. Okay, nice. Oh man, I'm just getting hooked up with some kills. Let's go. It's gonna let the Camille bleed out a bit. That's a double bleed. That's, uh, that's Yantel and, uh, and my five stack gonna work. I don't have, uh, you know, I have a little bit of crit. But not a whole ton yet. Also, that, uh, that Camille did die pretty quick. It's not even- I don't even have enough time to let my, uh, young Tal, like, bleed them out. They just kind of insta-die. Just because of the sheer amount of attack damage I have. Alright. 
But I do feel like we need some move speed and we need crit. I'm thinking maybe like Phantom Dancer. We can also build Navori just so we can have uh, the cooldown reduction for our W's and such, but. Oh, I did not realize they were fighting up here. Let me see if I can clean the rest of this up. My team's winning it, but man, I want some kills. Bled out. <laughs> the bleed's too strong. Uh, Camille's getting this, so I want to go cover that. Alright, so I have Collector. Let's build Zeal just so we can get more crits. So we can get uh, more Yuntel auto attacks. Also, just more attack speed means more auto attacks, which means more Yuntel bleed. Man, is she about to get a full tier two? Rough. Wow, what a pull. <laughs> Cho'Gath coming over with the chomp. I'm gonna say worth. That's uh, that's plus one stacks for Cho'Gath. Man, 692 on the W. So, uh, when I get more points in my W, it's going to increase the AD ratio of my W. Which, my W can crit. So, that is big time damage I can do. Especially with, like, Hail Blades. I'm kind of one shot. Anything that can get into my range where I can pull. Or maybe my Blitz pulls in. in or maybe my Auburn hits a Q. And allows me to dash in. Pretty good. Oh, he used his uh, Fear on this. Don't know if I can chase. I have zeal, but I hit a stride. Oh my god, he hit it. Oh, and I got the dash. <laughs> Exploded. There we go. Ivern E gave me the uh, kill that time. Yeah, before it must have been a uh, red buff proc or something. Let me see if I can get onto the Akali here. Okay, well, I'll call you this whole thing, so. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god! Wait, no way! Aw, oh, man. A Blitz is a god. My Ivern is a god. They're hitting every, like, every skull shot I've seen, that, uh, seen in the end of this game, they've hit everything. All right, let's see. Let's do uh, let's do Phantom Answer. I kind of want the extra move speed just so I can get in range. And let's sell this cloth armor. Let's build another cloak. Um, I'm kind of thinking Infinity Edge, just so we can just complete one shot. So if they don't get one shot on my combo, then they're gonna bleed out from you know my high damage bleed with skills with AD and my Yon Tower with skills with AD. With overwhelming. Oh my god. The damage. Oh, I'm in kited. I was gonna ult that guy! Wait! Oh no. Uh oh. Run away! Wait, <laughs> I literally just two autoed the guy. Wait a second. Okay, maybe I'm doing too much damage for my bleed to even matter. <laughs> Guys, this was supposed to be a double bleed build. But they're kind of just getting one-shotted. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit broken. Alright, let's see. Stay alert. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just build... Defendi Edge. I want bigger crits. I'm trying to going in. Got the whole squad rolling up. Okay, let's go for a mountain. Let's be objective focused here. I'll let my team kind of set me up. So if they get within my range, I'm one-shotting everything. So we have a uh, team full of setup. Cho'Gath Q, we got Ivern Q, we got Blitz Poles and, and knockups. We 
They actually kind of got the perfect squad to set up an immobile Darius to deal damage. Uh, I'm going to push this Ba in, and then maybe we could just force a Baron fight. Because my uh, Flash is coming up, we could just team fight. Yeah, I'm headed up to Baron. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and hang up. I think we could just force straight up. We don't even have to, like, maybe we can still look for a pick. Oh, that's unfortunate. Kaisa W. Dominating. Shut down. Okay. We can do it really fast because we have Kaisa. Okay, we got the Ivern uh, Daisy kind of tanking up Baron for us, too. Oh, look at the bleed damage I'm doing into Baron. I didn't even think about the bleed damage on Baron. Look at this. 2200 just from bleed. Okay, well, we finally have a target where I can, uh, you know, bleed him to death. <laughs> My ult just did 1400 damage with one stack! Is that balanced? Wait, 1400 true damage and I autoed once. <laughs> Wait, no freaking way. Okay, yeah, that was, was kind of broken. I'm just gonna wait and see if Ivern hits a Q. If Ivern hits a Q, it's a one shot. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh oh, uh oh. We are feared forever. All right, you know what? That was my bad. You know, <clears throat> for one second there, I forgot a colleague can just go stealth. Rip. Oh, hey, my truck has to be chomping, though. My, my truck has just, uh, yeah, my truck has just be chomping. Look at this. Boom, baby. Yeah, that's a fucking beast right there. Oh my god. A Jogath's enormous. Alright, well, let me get one camp so I can get my, uh... My Infinia Edge real quick. That way I can have my 100% crit. So I have a 100% chance to just bleed him out. So what does one bleed stack do? Alright, so I hit him with a bleed. Let's see our damage after, um, after this. So we hit him with a single auto attack. My auto attack does close to a thousand damage with my W on. Yeah, it does, it does a little over a thousand damage with my W on. And then they're gonna bleed out for an extra 100 physical damage per stack of hemorrhage, plus an additional 127 damage, you know, per auto I do. That's damage. You know, plus I fail blade, so I have three auto attacks basically come out insta. Alright, let's see this. Yeah, maybe we can. We just want to look for picks. Anything my Ivern or Blitz can set up for me would be perfect. Uh, okay, I have no idea where they're at. I mean, the Nocturne's dead, I guess. And then the uh, Camille's being chased down top. Don't know where the rest of the team's at. Yeah, I guess anybody but a Kali. I kind of have to space like like I'm a backliner, because I am so squishy, because I'm a full damage Darius build. Oh, I canceled my auto attack, otherwise I think I would have insta-killed the uh, Kali. I was going to just W, uh, W ulti, so I can get insta-stacked, but, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, my dash was, like, super long. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the Ivern cues. <laughs> that is a combo for sure. Oh my god. 
this damage. All right, let's see it. Oh, somehow I was in front of all the minions. Looking for any kind of setup here. If I can get in range to just hit him with the like my my W's right now are just nukes. All right, GG. All right, we gotta see this damage chart, right? I mean, this is freaking broken. Guys, please drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the video. I appreciate each and every one of you commenting down below. I read each and every one every single day. But guys, love y'all. Let's take a look at the damage chart. You know what? I'm gonna honor I'm gonna honor Blitzcrank here. He hooked us up pretty well. So Divern, if I could give two honors, I would. Let's see here. That is a twenty-nine thousand damage setup, and this is like twenty-nine thousand damage of one shots. I'm gonna say worth. Thank you so much, guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful day.